Welcome back to the camp. Today we're going to be making a bushcraft chair. So the first thing I'm going to do is get a fire going. This is the first thing I do every time I come to my camp is whether I need it or not, I always get a fire going. There's something just that, that warmth, that comforting feeling, that feeling of something's going on by having a fire. Even if it's a small fire smouldering away, a bit of smoke, it's that visual, it's that, it's that bushcraft radio, it's that bushcraft TV, it's the entertainment system out here in the woods. So yeah, here we go. When it comes to fire, I'm not going to do anything complicated. I'm going to keep it nice and simple today. Using my knife, or the back of my knife, and my fire steel. So I'm collecting a mixture of bone dry smaller sticks or twigs and then I'm going to work my way up to get to find larger ones like this. That should do for now. All I need to do now is sort through them. So here's my selection of smaller, very thin sticks or very thin twigs going up to the medium and then large. So we're talking kindling terms, small, medium, large. Now I need a tinder bundle. Do you remember this? This is what I'm going to use. Quick bird's nest, get rid of the outer bark. Look how that just peels away. I love doing that. And now, just like the last video, you haven't seen the last video by the way, I was here at my bushcraft camp and I uh, cooked up a bit of food, made a nice cup of tea and it was all cooked on a friction fire, so check out that video. Tinder bundle in three, two, one. Right, so that's the fire going. What I now need is to make a chair. So remember, I've come here to make a chair, a bushcraft chair. Now, hey, hello, Amber. Hello, hello. So 
there's three different things that I need to make this chair. First item is a saw. Second item is an axe. And the third, nails. Yeah, I'm gonna use nails. I could use cordage, I could use paracord, but I want this chair to last and I'm probably gonna move it around a lot. And I know that if I use natural cordage or even a paracord, it's gonna somehow loosen up. But these nails will, be coming, will come in really handy. They're gonna make it super, super strong. And come on, I'll just use some nails. So axe, saw, nails. Oop. I found this a few weeks ago in the woodland. I don't know where it's come from, but I've always wanted to use it to make some sort of table. And I've just had an idea. Put it on there, but it's not very level. So stick underneath like that, nail. Table, check. Fire, check. Let's go get some wood. Come on. It shouldn't be too hard to find the wood that I need because from all the shelters that I've built here in the, actually there's a nice bit over there. From all the shelters I've built here in the past, I tend to leave all the wood off the ground, leaning up against the tree, and it makes it a lot easier for um, for future projects. So now is when I'm really gonna, you know, it's really gonna pay back all those all those times I've I've put the wood rather than throw it on the floor and let it rot. It means I can just grab the wood, leaning against the tree, take it back to where I need it, and build stuff. Right. So I need four pieces of wood, each each length about a meter long, and I know just the place to get it, right here. As you can see, these are resources rather than. Rather than break down your camp and throw the wood on the ground, if you lean it up against the trees, it keeps it off the ground, it keeps it dry, and it preserves it for that little bit longer. So this is exactly what I need. They might look long, they are. I only need four lengths about this long. Right, come on.
Well, I'm not very happy with those cuts, so I'm going to do them again. I wanted a bit more of an angle on this, so I've just taken off a little wedge like that. I'm going to do the same to the other one. Pretty happy with that. That's what I was trying to get. If it doesn't work out the first time, just try again. Never give up. So, that's part one. Now part two. We need some more wood. But it's all right. I'm pretty sure I can use this for part two. First of all, I need to nail, I'm, I'm gonna put a nail in here. If you're not very confident using an axe, don't do this. So this is what we've created so far. We've got the back of the chair and we've got the base of the chair. By sliding this V, V-shaped piece of wood into there, it then, it becomes self-supportive. Self and now what we need is some sticks to go along here, maybe trim the ends off 
and voila, there you are, bushcraft chair. Sticks, more sticks, always need sticks. So what I need to do now is just tidy it up a little bit. So I want to just take off a few of these ends. So I'll just go in, I'll cut, I'll cut backwards. So I finished the chair, there's the base, and then remember the self-supportive, the two V-notches, they lock together and it becomes stable. I've used nails, yeah I could have used cordage or something else, are you okay Amber? But I think nails are going to make it a lot, a lot stronger. And the last thing I have is this deer hide. Hey, hey. come on then, come on. Come on then. Ah. So there we are. This is a bushcraft chair, easy to make. Remember, all I used was an axe, my saw, and I don't know, 15, 20 nails. Real easy, real easy. Great project. Stable, it's strong, it's not going to fall over. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this one. Well, thanks for watching the video. But I've got one more thing to show you. This is a dog trick. Nose, leave, leave. When I close my hand, that's the command. Leave. Good girl. Yeah, I'll give you another one. That's a good girl. Actually, let's do that again. Sit, sit, sit. Nose, nose, sit, nose. Well, thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe comment below. If you have a dog, comment below what sort of dog you have. Remember, this is Amber. She's a fox red Labrador. And also, if there's anything else you guys want to see me do or make here in the woodland, I love these little craft projects, making stuff, just using minimalistic things like, okay, maybe a few nails, but using the axe and the saw. I was going to use cordage, I'm glad I didn't because I did get up a bit late today, the sun's gone down already and it would have taken a long time. I hope you guys liked the video, please hit that subscribe button, I'll be back soon, I don't know when, maybe next week with another irregular upload. If there's anything else you guys want to see me do or make, then let me know, just comment below. Until then, stay tuned, see you later.